Hello friends, welcome back to Reviews by Dennis. Today I'm here to tell you about a new to me product. Uh, so this is the uh, Jay-Z Brain Vacuum Sealer. Uh, this is the version uh, V63. Um, and I, there's a bunch of different features I wanted to let you know about this product. Um, as these features are what um, inspired me to uh, get this product and try it out. And uh, consequently uh, do this review for you. Um, it does have, uh, I'll show you right from the box here, it has several different features here. Um, as you see, it's got a nice um, uh, spot there that you can um, hook up your uh, bags um, into the back of the unit, which they fit in an assortment of sizes. Uh, it has a nice uh, sneak away um, uh, cord wrap. Uh, it has a nice bag cutter attached to it, and it has many different functions, uh, such as um, being able to do dry or wet products, um, or you can do a soft or a hard vacuum seal. So it's got a lot of neat little features, and I'm just going to try to go through a quick um, the process here and show you different things about this thing, and uh, give you a, a few demos on uh, some of the items that I vacuum sealed to show you how it works for me. Uh, first of all, it's got this uh, onboard spot here to be able to put your uh, bags. Um, you can either buy bags either uh, pre-cut already or uh, in rolls. I find it more economically to do it in rolls. Um, I bought separately uh, these two rolls here. This is an 11 inch roll and a 8 inch roll. And it's nice to have different sizes for different um, you know, types of uh, foods and stuff like that that you might be storing. Uh, I found this works really well if you're gonna be um, blanching and storing corn on the cob because it's really wide so you can get those really big ears in there. And this is really good for um, like your dry foods uh, such as beans, rice, uh, even cereal, chips, stuff like that. So this is really good for that. Um, and real easy you're just gonna this is adjustable and you're just gonna want to kind of get it separated to about the spot you want and just slip it in there and adjust it and just give it a little push make sure it's kind of locked into place and then it sits on there I have a little velcro strap there holding it holding it on there um, and uh, let me take that off and what's really nice as I said it's got a cutter on it and right here on the front, it's got a little finger spot that you can lift up. Uh, you're going to weave the bag through there, put it down, and then just slide the slide mechanism across. And that's just going to cut the bag to the desired link you uh, would like. So here's a little, little demo showing you how to use that. I personally don't have a lot of counter space for this, um, so I store it away in the box when I'm not using it. I use it like once or twice a month depending on our shopping habits. Uh, it's really nice as if you shop at a club store, um, you get stuff in bulk and you can break it down into separate meals. Uh, so this makes it really nice. I just do that as part of our uh, evening shopping routine uh, when we're done at a club store. We come home, we you know separate what needs to be put away right away. And then I on my countertop in my kitchen, I end up setting this up and I separate all the foods and get my bags out, my rolls. This has been really handy for separating, you know, the traditional stuff like meats, you know, meat, steak, chicken, um, you know, a lot of your, um, 
you know, uh, things that you can buy in bulk, you get a better deal by doing it that way. And um, because this does do dry and wet and soft and normal um, um, vacuum sealing, it makes it really nice and versatile to be able to do a wide variety of different foods. Um, it also comes with a couple of hoses that you can use if you have vacuum um, storage um, containers. Um, it has the different ends, uh, like this is a screw on top. And this is um, another uh, type of top that these will go and coincide with uh, certain vacuum seal um, containers that you would use for like a lot of people use them for uh, um, uh, rices and pastas and you know stuff like that to help keep them sealed but they're in containers instead of the bags and um, this this one right here is really handy because it, um, it works with the external port of the vacuum sealer and you can just switch screw it into the side of there and then you don't have to worry about opening it and it comes with a really nice long cord and then this one comes with a, a small um, a cord or hose to be able to use too so I don't really have a need for these parts but it did come with it and I wanted to mention it uh, maybe down the road I'll get containers that have um, vacuum storage comp capacity tops and stuff like that and you know I'll, I'll know the benefits of using those but I did want to mention that it comes with those um, as it is a pretty neat little function also comes with a little dry erase marker. It's nice to be able to put your date of your products on it so that way you know the shelf life of your products and stuff like that. And in case you're wondering about the shelf life of your products, uh, there is a little handy guide in the instruction manual that kind of tells you how much longer things will last, whether they're frozen, uh, cold storage, or room temperature uh, for different things. Like like meats, for example, and normally they last about six months in the freezer uh, before you have to worry about stuff like freezer burn and stuff like that. Um, when they're vacuum sealed, it's going to last 15 to 20 months. So you see that you get a much much longer um, duration of time, uh, especially with stuff like rice, flowers, dried fruits, and stuff like that. Uh, they can be anywhere from two to six months, and then once they're vacuum sealed, they can last up to 12 months. So you get a really nice shelf life from uh, vacuum sealing your foods. Um, and this is a really handy um, instruction manual. It gives you a lot of troubleshooting information, kind of tells you all the parts of the product and stuff like that, and it just works really well. Um, I got a few types of foods I'm going to show you, me vacuum sealing. Uh, I hope it helps showing you this demo. It's, um, it's been really beneficial for me and my family, like I said, chopping up the clubs and be able to separate everything. So anyway, before I get show you a couple of uh, demos, I just wanted to show you the inside of the unit. It's got two buttons on the side that kind of release the top, and it's, as you see on there, it's got little hand symbols on either side, and you're going to push those down and they lock into place, and then the buttons on the side, you're going to push those simultaneously and it opens it up for you. And inside you'll notice you have your heat bar right here. Uh, the heat bar, it's actually a dual heat bar and uh, I just know from experience it's covered with something called Teflon tape which helps it be non-stick and um, that's what's going to seal your bag. It is two, two rows so that way you get a really sturdy seal. It also comes with this little drip tray. Uh, sometimes when you're using and um, uh, sealing uh, wet products, sometimes that liquid will um, suck up and go into this tray so it's really nice you have it going into this tray captured instead of down inside the mechanism so you might have to you know periodically wash that out and stuff like that uh, depending on the amount of wet food you're going to use and that just sits right in there uh, around that drip tray there's a uh, little gasket and that's what you're going to get your seal from um, when you put a bag in here you're going to want your bag to sit into this recessed apartment because it's going to suck through this little valve here so if it's not all the way into this spot, it's not going to create a vacuum seal around the gasket here. And then once you have your bag set up in there, you're just going to shut it, push on both ends, and then you're going to select the appropriate button that you want. Uh, most of the time, I just use a normal vacuum seal. Uh, I'm going to show you first some uh, coconut. Uh, then I'm going to show you some carrots. Um, some snack food, which we which are called veggie straws, uh, they're kind of like a potato chip type product, um, which is a little healthier. And then I'm going to show you some coleslaw, so that way you get a nice gambit of the different types of foods that you can use this for. Uh, everybody always does meat in their um, in their vacuum seal videos. I wanted to be different, uh, so I just avoided you know showing any meats and stuff like that. But I did let you know that that's what I primarily use it for. So without further ado, here's the demos. Hope you enjoy.
So as you can see, it, it's very versatile. It um, you know works really well. Uh, I didn't really have no trouble with it. Uh, you just want to make sure your bags are in that seal department in there, so that way you know you're getting that seal. Um, and um, you know, it, it's just really simple and easy to be able to cut the bags you like to your size. Um, you just want to make sure you uh, pre-seal them uh, before you uh, you know put anything in there, and then you're good to go. Uh, if you're interested in this item or any more information about it that I might have missed, check out the link in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and want to see more content like it, um, just hit the subscribe button and uh, click the little bell icon. And you'll get up-to-date um, notifications if um, I come up with a new uh, you know, product that I'm bringing to your attention. Thanks for stopping by today here at Reviews by Dennis. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.